Are you currently dating anyone? you to hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell okay so i did a q a questionnaire in my stories on my instagram make sure you follow that too a lot of you asked some juicy q a so let's get started do you feel that your autism makes being in a relationship harder or easier for you well i only been in a couple of relationships in my entire life because they've always been like long term so i don't really know <laughs> uh, i just found out i was autistic not too long ago or just been diagnosed a couple years ago so everyone else does not know i think i have a lot of assets to balance it out i am probably more sensitive all over um, in general compared to the average person because I have sensory processing disorder. I'm more sensitive emotionally, just everything. And I think that's probably the biggest flaw or liability, you want to call it, that I have. But I don't think so. I think I have too many assets to make it a problem. How did you learn how to dance? I think it's kind of natural for me. So in middle school and high school, my friends and I used to like make up dance routines and stuff like that. Um, I joined the dance team in high school and my friends just made up routines and I just went along. Shake that laffy taffy, hey, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I think it just came naturally. I love dancing. I practiced in my room all the time, blast my stereo. Um, I did competing in high school, like competitive hip hop dancing. We even performed at the fashion show mall. My high school won first place for state championships for hip hop dancing. So that's about it. I never had like a professional class or anything. Do you like Mexican food? <laughs> of course I like Mexican food. I love Mexican food, Mexican candy, Mexican drinks. I also like the Mexican candies, the Poporindo, um, all of it, the Lucas, the Tahine. I put on everything. I love media queso tacos i love mexican food like i grew up with a lot of hispanic people so um i always loved mexican food since i was a little kid are you currently dating anyone no <laughs> i haven't gotten a number i haven't messaged no one i haven't encountered nothing with anyone First of all, I'm at home all the time. <laughs> I don't have time to be dipping into other relationships and stuff like that. So right now I'm just healing, focusing on me, my kids, my career. So at this moment, I am not dating anyone. How is co-parenting with Terry? Well, Terry is an awesome dad and we only have one child together. So co-parenting with Sky has been amazing. Um, we've switch every other week he has her 50 percent of the time and i have her 50 percent of the time and it has been going great do you still spend time with your stepdaughter well my stepdaughter lives all the way across on the other side of the united states so i don't get to see her um even when we were together it's not like she lived with us so we got her on the holidays and stuff, but if she does visit Vegas anytime soon or anytime in the future, of course I'm gonna spend time with her. I was in her life since she was a baby, so she will always be a part of me and I love her and I always will. Do you think you will date or marry again? Marry, probably not. Date, yes, I will date again, I am only 33 i'm very young so i still think in the future i will be dating um just not anytime soon i'm not where i'm at where i want to be in my career um i still have healing to do i still have this finding me journey going on so i'm more focused on that and maybe in the future a year or two or three or four i will start dating again are you divorced or just separated. I was upset 
did he cheat on you? He an idiot if he did. Um, I am getting a divorce. Um, any day now, it'll be final, finalized. And uh, did he cheat on me? No. <laughs> I made a video what happened um, in my last video or two videos ago. So make sure you check out my video and you'll get all the details about what happened. What has helped you heal the most? I need help after a breakup. Well, I got you. I actually just made a video about healing. So make sure you check it out and I explain everything. Growing up biracial, the difficulties and the advantages. When I was younger, I was darker because I live in Vegas. I grew up in Vegas, so I was darker because I played outside all the time and, you know, I had curly hair. So I basically grew up as a full black person. Um, the only thing different is my household was different because I had a Japanese mother. I guess I was raised differently. I have a lot of crazy stories about me growing up biracial and uh, I'm going to need to make a whole new video for this. How did your parents meet? I got like five of these repeated questions. So they met in Japan. Okay. That's another long story, but basically my dad was already living in Japan for 10 years as a civilian and he learned how to speak Japanese fluently. And then I guess they met through a mutual friend and they got together, had me, got married, and here they are 34 years later, and they're still together. So, um, yeah, I was born in Japan, they met in Japan, so that's how they met. Would you get back with your ex? Um, I think if that was possible, we wouldn't be getting a divorce. Um, if there was like a chance for us to get back, so I don't think so, but you never know. As of now, I'm gonna say no. A couple of people asked, hey, why'd you become an influencer? How'd you get started? So I'm just gonna answer that as a whole. So I decided to become an influencer when my best friend in Atlanta was like, hey, my daughter is a teenager and she's always watching these YouTubers and they're like 19, 20 and they're making bank, okay? They're killing it, they're just vlogging. So I'm like, okay and i like watched her channel i'm like okay they're killing it i'm like and that seems so easy like i could become a youtuber and make millions too so i was in school getting my bachelor's degree to get my dental hygiene um degree and uh while i was doing that i was trying to become a youtuber and comes to find out ah that ain't easy so i failed okay but i seen the light i want to make people happy i want to make people laugh i want to educate inspire people so i always felt since i was a kid that i have a purpose to make a change and uh, i think this is one of them i think bringing a a different perception about autism bringing awareness um is one of the things i feel like is a gift that i am able to do is educate others and break stereotypes like People look at me and like, oh, you're lying. You're not autistic. Even though I've been diagnosed several times, and so has my oldest daughter, but people don't see black women that are autistic all the time, so, or Asian. So I'm here, I'm here to educate and spread awareness. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Another common question I get is like, hey, what are, what are your future goals? Or where do you see yourself in five years? I want to do some investing. So I want to eventually have some type of business, uh, one or two successful businesses. I'm not gonna say out loud because I don't want no one stealing my ideas, but uh, I wanna have maybe a nonprofit going. I wanna have another business going. I want to have some investment properties um, and I see myself with maybe millions of subscribers and followers. That's my goal, to have me a little community. So those are my Q&As for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more comments or suggestions on future videos, let me know down below. I do like a lot of the questions. I'm like, these are great video topics that I could talk about in the future. But until then, I will see you next time.